so uh, I wanted to get this done quick because we had a lot of rain coming and uh, a big windstorm. So I got the house wrap on. I got part, part of the roof put on. That way it just kind of stayed semi-dry. Uh, but right now we're going to be working on the, the nesting boxes. So I thought I'd bring you along with us so we could finish this build up. Let's do it. All right, here's our inside. Ooh, there's kind of an echo in here. Uh, here's our inside. Um, I don't know. Don't look at this, but I missed a couple of nails on that side but don't worry about it we'll we'll get them fixed uh so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, put a little header going across here that, that that last two little stretch there and that's where our nesting box is going to be so let's cut some wood and, and get it uh hooked up so all i did here was just get a level i drilled out some holes where the corners are going to be then i got a level and just traced the box so now i'm going to cut the box out where the nesting boxes are going to go and then uh, that'll give us access to work from both sides All right, now we'll go get the wonder tool and, and finish this up. All right, I got my wonder tool here. Uh, if you guys never tried these things, I think they're called oscillating saws. Uh, they're like a skill saw and a jigsaw kind of put together. I mean, in, in my little humble opinion, but they're, they're really super cool. So if you ever get a chance to try one of these things, I'd definitely try it because I never thought about buying one. And then uh, once I did, I was like, I mean, I use this thing all the time. So like, you know, the, our saw is not going to get all the way to every corner, so I just take this little wonder tool. And that's it. Uh, I got one nail in here, so we'll have to bust that out, but... Yeah, that's it. Nice. All right, I got that thing busted out. While I'm thinking of it, we're going to staple these down. We'll tape them up here. In my other video, I, uh, I talked about why we're putting the, uh, the house wrap on, I think. And that's basically because um, uh, here in the southeast Alaska, we're in a, a rainforest. And so we get a lot of rain and we get a lot of, um, a lot of wind out here on the, on the ocean. So So to keep it as dry as possible, uh, that's why we're putting the house wrap on. So we're, we're basically just building like a little, a little house, but um, you know, from what everything I've read about chickens, you want to keep them dry, or at least their bedding and stuff dry, so um, you don't cause any undue harm to them through like ammonia or whatever. But uh, yeah, that's basically uh, that's basically it. So that, that wonder tool also works great for, like if this doesn't come out and it just pops the head off. See that, it's just pop, it's popping the head off. So you take your wonder tool, and they have, diff they have different, uh, different blades for it. So I'm using a wood and um, metal blade, and it's a carbon Dremel something. Dremel carbon. So you just take this guy and...
There you go. Nail's gone. Cool tool. You know what? I'm going to see if I can find one of these and put it in my Amazon store. That's what I'm going to do. I'm thinking now. So uh, my Raven friend just flew up. So I'm going to go grab him some food and see if he'll eat while I'm down here working. I doubt it. So I got some peanuts here. Look, I got it marked somewhere. There you go. I got it marked. It says Raven. That's my Raven plate. All right, so normally I put them up here on the picnic bench, but because I'm working, I'm gonna put it down here on the log and see if he'll come down here. All right, so I got all of his nuts on the board there. If it's the girl, she won't come down. Uh, and even if she does, the girl is really um, skittish, so she'll jump up and jump, jump around a whole bunch while she's eating. If it's the guy, then he'll just fly down and start eating because he don't care. But that's our two raven friends. There you go. I don't know if you can see it. That's the guy. You see him? He's just, he's not hopping around. He don't care. He's going in there getting his nuts. He's going to be gone. He's still chowing down. He don't care. Let's see how close we can get. female wouldn't yeah look he's turning he, he was like he, the female wouldn't have stayed she's like i gotta get out of here oh there he goes come on back buddy is to pre-cut it but we didn't know exactly where we wanted the nesting boxes where we wanted the roost where we wanted the door where we wanted the window we didn't know what size the window was so we just built a box got it uh, weatherproof and, and now we're cutting to fit so this is the way we had to do it I would advise you to plan out a little better buy your window first and uh, but uh, that's not what we did Of course I cut that wrong. Alright, I took that stud out. We got this one here now, so let's throw some screws into it. We can put that other thing back up there. We might put another 2x4 here just to give it some strength. Maybe we should do that. Yeah, probably. Come on, baby.
So I wanted to double up on this just to give it a little more rigidity. Uh, I think that'll work out good. And then we'll put that stud back in. Is that 21 even? 21? Okay. Oh, my raven just came back. Hey guys, uh, it's the next day. We're getting the door put in. I already did that. Now I'm getting this window framed in and then uh, we'll cut it out. And that should be it. Then we'll put this in. Then we can put the, the siding on and then we can start on the run. So let's, let's get this day started. Test fitting window. Uh, yeah, that works pretty good. So, how much light does it put in there? Get some light. Well, yeah, it does. Good.
wasn't going to film this, but we got loons out there. Two eagles. <laughs> a raven. And a raven. <laughs> I'm not promising this is going to fit either, but we're going to give it a shot. You know, we didn't, there's got to be 43 inches. Okay, well that's okay, but at least it'll go on. Yeah. We got it to fit, but after I cut it, all the commotion left. There's, <laughs> the eagles flew off, the loon stopped looning. <laughs> it's the lunar loon. Hummingbird. You got hummingbirds? Gotta go flush and slide her in. Okay. Wow. Okay, I think that's good. Mine's pretty flush. Two ravens headed that way. Oh, yeah, you probably won't be able to see it from the GoPro. All right, we're just finishing up the last few pieces of trim, and then we got one door to make and some latches to do, and then we can start on the run. That's why I've left this open, because these raptors are going to connect up. The run raptors are connecting with the coop raptors. It's going to go like this. So let's finish this up, and then we can start on the next one. All right, well, we pretty much got the coop done. We just have to add the door to it and uh, finish doing some touch-up. Uh, this part here is left open because the the, the roof of the run is going to connect to this. And um, so that's why that's happening. So we'll get started on the run. And, and, uh, and then once we get the chickens in here and give it some time, we'll tell you what we liked about it and what we didn't like about it. So stay tuned for that. All right, guys, thank you for watching. We'll see you next week. My camera's moving. Got a hummingbird fight going on. Oh, they just took off. Two hummingbirds were fighting, and then Gunner said, I'll get in on that action. <laughs>